I'm in this loud, junky server room to explain how virtualization works. Not only is virtualization eliminating our need for rooms like this, but it also provides a disaster recovery solution that is fantastic for small businesses, and they can afford it. So I brought three servers with me. Email server, accounting server, and a CRM server. Now look, each server is a different shape and size than the other one, so they're probably different brands. Maybe one's a lot older than the other one. They also have plenty of room inside for more stuff. The problem with these servers, just like those servers, is that if I mix the contents of this with that, it's not going to mix very well. So the programs in this server and the programs in this one are not going to operate very well on the same server. And that's why we have three servers that are performing few functions rather than one server performing a lot of functions. Now, imagine that I could take what's in this server out and put it in this server and when I do it the contents of one don't mix with the contents of the other. Instead they kept their same form and substance. That's what virtualization does. So with virtualization I can take the contents, I can put it over here, but as far as this stuff is concerned it thinks it's in a server all by itself. And even though it's in here, this stuff thinks it's in a server all by itself. Virtualization virtualizes the physical box. And so the contents now have this virtual physical server around them, and they think they're all by themselves. And so I can mix them all in the same physical server, yet they won't mix together. And that allows us to reduce the number of physical servers we have. And that's why data centers and server rooms like this all over the world are getting smaller. So the first thing about virtualization is hardware consolidation. The second thing is really neat. Today, with a tape drive, I can back up what's in this server. But it'll take a long time and even if I back up all of it, if this server crashes, I've got to reinstall the operating system, reinstall the programs, download any patches or updates, and get it all just like it was, and then put the data back in. Virtualization allows me to make a copy of this really quick, like literally within minutes, not hours, but minutes. And so if I can make a copy of the entire contents of the server in a matter of minutes, then I don't have to wait till tonight when the tape runs. I can make a copy every couple of hours if I wanted to. So number one is I can make a copy really quickly of everything. Now if this server does break, I can go over to the copy and the copy may be in another server it may be off-site somewhere, but I can go to that copy and I can start it. I mean, it's, it's like an executable file that I can just start up. And when I start it, it comes online and all the users think that this server is back in action. And in fact, it is because we're not talking about the physical server. We're talking about the virtual server, which is where the identity is kept. And so, if it's on any other box, I can just go start it, and the end users see that server again. So imagine if I took a backup every couple of hours and I had a failure, I don't have to recover a whole day's worth of work. I recover something less than two hours. So hardware consolidation and disaster recovery, two great things about virtualization.